Water dock, good victory. So today I am in my shipping container. I've done a lot of the tiling, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the first unboxing video I've ever done on my channel. Uh, and normally I don't do unboxing type of videos because I really think it just uh, fuels our American passion for consumerism. Uh, obviously, uh, as probably the richest nation uh, by uh, fiat, um, we can consume a lot of things. And I, I hate doing that, but in some regards, as a homesteader slash prepper, I like the idea that we have access to a lot of things. And so let's do this unboxing video. And uh, the reason I decided to do it is it's for uh, a product um, that is sold by a YouTuber that I really enjoy. Um, here it is right here. There's the name of it. It's uh, Canadian Preparedness by, of course, uh, Canadian Prepper. Now this was shipped from Canada to the US um, and uh, what I really like about his channel, uh, Canadian Prepper, is that uh, he does keep things very real. And I've met personally and have uh, experience with a lot of, of survivalist types of people, uh, preparedness minded people, um, some, you know, quote experts, some um, who even charge money for their coursework and things like that. Um, but I found that even if those guys have some level of, of experience, a lot of times those guys do it for the wrong reasons. They do it for quote profit. So in this particular case, I like this guy, Canadian Preparedness, because he has a YouTube channel. Um, it's not huge by any means, but it's pretty, pretty good. But the one fundamental thing that actually uh, puts him head over heels over every other preparedness guy or guru, whatever, that teaches preparedness, uh, wilderness, survival, you know, uh, whatever have you, military types. What I like about his channel is that um, uh, he says, uh, his motto is uh, support this channel by supporting yourself, which means he'll take, I guess, donations if you wanted to offer it to him, but really what he wants to do is sell products on his channel to help others prepare uh, for difficult difficulties in life and such um, while making a profit. And I think that is a true, uh, truly, uh, you know, viable, uh, long-term, uh, good motive for doing this. Uh, I see a lot of preparedness guys selling porn, uh, fear porn that is, and uh, selling gloom and doom. I see some preppers um, selling the religious side of it, um, you know, the end of the world, you know, apocalypse, Armageddon, you know, Megiddo, that kind of stuff, which really doesn't bode well for the everyday uh, preparedness that, that I think most people should have. I mean, a level of preparedness for um, local, seasonal, uh, weather uh, emergencies are the, uh, are the way to go. And if you have those things covered, then maybe you can think of long-term emergencies uh, that may happen in a particular nation you live in. But anyway, yeah, enough uh, of the rant. Let's go on to this uh, unboxing of uh, Canadian pre uh, preparedness, Canadian preppers uh, product. So this uh, is uh, my first unboxing video, and let me show you what I have. Hopefully all, all of this captures on film. First of all, he packed it pretty well. I mean, you can see that there's not much movement here. 
and the box fits really tight. You can see there's not much space here. I really like that. You put a good amount of paper in there to hold it in place. So nothing's moving around. These are relatively flat items. So the first thing I'm gonna take out of here is this guy right here. And this is the Katana Boy Professional 650 millimeter or 25.6 inch uh, blade, a replacement blade for this Selkie saw, this Katana Boy saw. So, you know, as a, as a prepper type of guy, you know, there's that old adage, you know, two is one and one is none. And so this is a Katana Boy uh, 650 Katana Boy Professional. Um, it comes in a uh, nice sheet like this and the box. First, the box impressions. Um, you know, it looks like it's sealed. It's made in Japan. And, uh, and so, yeah, it looks good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take, I might as well take it and open it up too. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's this side. I'll open that up. Obviously, it's been taped. That's good. All good signs from the box itself. Alrighty, go. There's the sheath. Here's the bag. Made in Nippon. Okay, nice, nice, very nice. I think for um, the value of this product, um, people might think, ah, that's way too much for a stupid pencil. Um, yeah, some, that's not really gonna last you. But look at this guy. That's packed nicely. Here's the, um, here's the instructions. Uh, here's the logo on it, if you can see that. Yeah, I think this is gonna serve me really well. Now, the reason I bought this is because I, I use chainsaws. I have some limbing saws. I even have some silkies that I use, hand limbers. But the reason why I wanted this Katana Boy is ultimately, um, you know, if in case, not that it will ever happen, and most likely it'll never happen, but if I can't get fuel for my chainsaw, uh, or chainsaws, I should say, then I can use this guy to cut down a tree and uh, also so that I can keep up with the firewood for the winter. So that's why I'm right here in front of my little um, 90 degree uh, fireplace uh, outlet because that's what it's gonna be primarily used for. Now this will be stored away for me. Uh, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use my chainsaw obviously uh, for that and, uh, and split the wood that way. Um, and so, um, yeah, this particular Katana Boy uh, 650 will be used primarily as a backup. And so it'll kind of be just put away, I guess, uh, with the extra blade. And, um, and uh, it'll be used that way. So what I really wanted to do is say, hey, look, I, I got this product and uh, I got it from this guy right here. CanadianPreparedness.com, uh, Canadian Prepper. And uh, I would highly rec recommend this guy because like I said, I have seen a bunch of people on YouTube, have met face-to-face -face, uh, survivalists, instructors, you know, quote, special operators, whatever the heck that means. Um, all these types of guys and none of them, um, in my opinion, hold a candle to this guy because he's actually doing something that people need. Um, selling product at affordable prices, um, you may be able to get it cheaper than somewhere else, but you know what? I'd rather support this guy and, um, and uh, support myself, as he says, as well. Uh, I used to do this with Alex Jones, and wow, that was a joke, because his product sucked. Uh, but I think the stuff that Canadian Preparedness, Canadian Prepper sells, uh, like this Katana Boy is a proven product and works well. Uh, I've used these anyway, bought them from other vendors obviously in the past, but from now on I'm going to support Canadian preparedness and I'm going to buy uh, other survivalist preparedness gear from him because obviously he uh, sells good product, sells it at pretty good competitive prices, and uh, it does support his channel and it does support me. 
So uh, that was it. Thank you for watching. Have a good victory. Shalom.